Today we're looking at an awesome app by Adobe called Photoshop Fix. And it's a brand new mobile app um, that allows you to do amazing editing on photos. It's a professional grade um, tool that is as easy to use if you are brand new to, to computing and to tablets. So we're gonna look at this. We're looking at it today on um, my new iPad Pro, which I totally love. This is a beautiful device. <laughs> and um, it's roughly, I would say a little less than, but roughly the size of um, two standard iPads, the screen space, not the physical size, but the screen size is, I'd say maybe a little bit less than two um, iPad Retina display um, that are on the market now. So um, anyhow, but this is bright, beautiful, and has some amazing features. I'll do those in another segment. But um, what we're gonna focus on today is some of these Photoshop tools and specifically Photoshop Fix. So Photo um, Adobe has a whole suite of tools that they've come out with really recently, within the last maybe six months to um, maybe a little less than a year of these very powerful tools that are available for free um, for mobile devices. Now, um, Photoshop Fix, which is the one we're gonna look at today, is available only on iOS. I don't know if they have plans for Android, but um, currently it's available uh, only on iOS, but you can use it on a tablet. It doesn't have to be a pro, but on a tablet or even a phone. And it just cracks me up like how powerful it is and what you can do on a phone um, and edit pictures with the features that this has. So here's some of their other tools. We'll get into those later. Um, Mix is a really cool tool as well. And um, so let's start off with Photoshop Fix. We're gonna go into this and you can add photos that you want to work on from your iPad, from your camera, from the Creative Cloud, all different sources. And I've already got some photos here that I've been working on for projects. And um, so the one that we're going to use today is this photo right here. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it so I don't alter my original. And it go ahead, it opens it up in Photoshop Fix with all of my options here. Now each of these options has all kinds of powerful features underlying them and we're going to look at some really key ones so this particular photo um, we're probably going to use in a yogurt shop for an advertisement and but we need to make some enhancements too we want to give um, maybe a little more pop to the color we want to increase some smiles we want to get rid of these smartphones and do some things like that so <laughs> so um, it's pretty amazing what you can do so we're going to start off with this cool tool called liquify and uh, within it, you can warp, swell, and twirl, but you can also do this face recognition feature. So I'm gonna tap on that and it finds the faces in the photo. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna zoom in on one of them so that we can actually um, make some enhancements to it. Now, this girl is very beautiful as is, but we're gonna go ahead, just for example purposes, show you some of these crazy features that you can do. So I am going to um, tap on her face and notice it points out the eyes, the different structures on her face, her nose, her mouth, her chin. And I can tap on any one of these. I'm going to start off with the mouth. So I'm going to tap on that little dot. And these are my options. And I, if I want to alter her smile, I can tap on it. And check this out. I can increase her smile or I can decrease her smile, whatever I want to do. And I'm going to just give it a little boost there. And uh, an increase, I just think that is unbelievable that you can do that. And um, I can tap on her nose if I want to, mo to uh, modify the nose, which I don't want to do. But in this case, you, you could if you wanted to tap with. This is crazy. Look what you can do with that. It's just unbelievable. So I'm going to put it back where it was because I thought it was great as is. And then with her eyes, if we wanted just to show you some of the features that we can do here is we can actually change the size of eyes, which is just crazy that you can do this. And as easy as I'm doing it, I'm just tapping on it and it's bringing it right up. Um, I can also change the tilt, the height of her eyes. I can do all kinds of things and I can change the width and so forth. And then um, if I want to change, work on the facial structure or modify it in any way, um, I'll select um, jawline. And I'm gonna just bring that out. And you can do it thin, you can do it thin, you can do it whatever you want to do, which is just, again, I think it's amazing that you can do this so easily. So that is the um, facial features. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap check to select those. And I'm gonna bring this photo back down in size. And um, another cool feature that we can do is lighten things up. So let's say 
I'm just making this up. Let's say I want to lighten um, this girl's hair. So all I have to do is swipe my finger right over and see how those streaks are turning light wherever my finger goes. And I can do it with my finger. I can do this with a stylus when the Apple Pencil starts shipping. You can get super precision with the Apple Pencil. And so I can lighten her hair if I wanted to. You can also lighten skin tones or anything really. So if I want to lighten skin tone on a face, I can go do that. Notice it's getting lighter. So you can really, if you had a shadow, you can do it over a shadow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say check to that. Um, another cool thing that I can do is I can remove objects. So I'm gonna go to healing <laughs> and um, Actually, before I do that, I want to slide this picture up a little bit so we can see these smartphones. So I'm going to go to healing and I'm going to get rid of this smartphone. So I'm going to take my finger I'm on spot heal and I'm just going to wipe right over that smartphone and it disappears. So if you have a piece of trash in the background and you want to remove it from a photo, use spot healing. If you have blemishes, you can spot heal those. If there, I used it the other day for a sign in the yard or uh, in the photo that I was taking, there was a sign in the background. I didn't want the wording in it, so I removed it using Spot Heal. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. You can remove logos. You can, if you're using um, a picture for an advertisement for business and you need to, you know, remove the Nike symbol or something like that, you can do that with this Spot Heal. And so I can do the same thing here, and I can just work on this one in a little more detail. So I'm gonna wrap this one back and forth. Do that one to disappear. There we go. And so I can continue to refine that and get that out of there. So I've just removed two cell phones from the picture. If there was trash on the table, I could remove the trash from the table. So that is spot heal. You can also do things like clone stamps. So let's say you want more grass in a photo. Maybe there's a patch of dirt and you're taking a picture outdoors on a green field, but there's a spot in the grass that is brown. Use the clone stamp and you can make that brown grass green. Um, so there's all kinds of things that you can do. You can remove people out of photos. You can remove a background person out of a photo. So it's just truly amazing. So I'm gonna accept that. And these are the ones, anything with blue shows that I have made adjustments in those areas. So this time I'm gonna to go to color and I really wanna make these colors pop. So all I have to do is say pop and it really brings those bright reds and to really enhance um, uh, the fruit and the fun sweet things that are in their yogurt. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept those. And um, I can smooth things out. Uh, so if I wanna blend something, I can tap smooth. Um, adjust allows you to um, do things that are more common in photo editing apps like contrast, saturation, and shadows. So I'm not gonna go into those, but I just wanted you to know that those are there. And one other amazing thing, this is actually under the liquify again, is this twirl? <laughs> this is crazy. Let's say I wanted to change the angle of somebody's face. I can just tap on their face and it could be anything. It doesn't have to be a face. It could be, you know, the angle of something somebody's holding, but Point being is that you can twirl and shift the angles of things. So let's say I'm just gonna use this as an example and I can actually twist and give a different angle perspective for for any object. In this case, I did her face just for illustration purposes. I'll X that out because I think she's great as is. But now I've got all these colors popping. Um, I'm gonna put my AdWords on it and we've got this great um, advertisement showing fun and color. Um, in just literally a matter of seconds. How long did that take to do? You know, and it's, it's so quick and easy, no complex commands, all visual using the gestures on the mobile device. So you can easily share these by tapping the share icon. Um, there's a couple things that you can do here. One is you can send it to Photoshop. So if you wanna do further editing on your desktop machine, if you're a professional photographer or you use Photoshop, uh, you can forward it to Photoshop. It keeps all of the layers intact, which is awesome. So you can continue to, to work with it there. You can also forward it to other apps on your mobile device. So to Mix or Lightroom, and you can make further adjustments or modifications um, to those apps. And it seamlessly goes between those apps. The other super cool thing is this undo. So if you make a mistake, just tap undo 
And it doesn't just undo your last action or the last three actions or even the last 10 actions. Anything you did, you can undo, 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 undo all the way back to the original file. So, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. It keeps those layers that it uses and it's really kind of transparent to you in terms of how it's layering, but it does keep all of that intact, which is just awesome. We could paint different colors. Um, we can add borders and vignettes. So it's all here, literally at the tap of a finger and just an amazingly powerful app for free from Adobe who obviously makes great um, photo editing software. So if you have any questions, post them in um, comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to watch one other last thing, this is actually what we already did, but I just think this is funny because they always had those somber faces in the um, older pictures. But if you wanted to, um, uh, not spot heal, what do I, I want to go to liquefy and I want to do the face, you know, you can add, you know, a smiley face here, you know, to these older pictures, which I just think is a crack up because they were always had those straight faces, but you could actually modify them. Um, uh, on these as well. So uh, just another neat idea. If you like it, uh, don't forget to press like. Don't forget to subscribe. I do weekly app reviews and tech tips. So um, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And then uh, if you have comments, post them. In, or if you have questions, post them in comments and I'll be happy to answer those. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. I think it's truly one of those amazing apps. So have a great day.